In this video, we're gonna learn about function, types of function, and composition of function. Let's revise what is Cartesian product. The Cartesian product of set A and B is denoted by A cross B and it is collection of order pair of set A and set B and that is denoted by in bracket A comma B. So this is called as order pair where first element is coming from my first set and second element is coming from my second set. Now this order pair, for example, set A is having three elements x, y, z, set B is having three elements 1, 2, 3, the order pair or A cross B, the Cartesian product of that will be all the possible combination of order pair on this two set, that will be x1, x, 1, x, 2, x, 3, y, 1, y, 2, y, 3 and z, 1, z, 2 and z, 3. So these are all possible combination of pairs then that will be called as a Cartesian product. Now from all of these possibilities if you are taking some subset the subset of this Cartesian product will be called as your relation. Again, if you'll add some rule on this relation and again, if you'll perform, if you'll take subset of uh, this uh, Cartesian product but, but with additional rules, then that set will be called as a function. So what is a function? For non-empty sets A, B, a function or a mapping F from A to B that is also denoted by F colon A cross A uh, arrow B and where A comma B is the order pair of that function. It is a relation which is going from A to B in which every element of A means the element in that first position which is coming from the first set. Every element of A appears exactly once. You should have only one appearance of each and every element from your first set as the first component of that order pair in the relation. For example, this is the diagram. Here set A is having three element 1, 2, 3 and set B is having three element X, Y, Z. For each and every element in this first set, I am having only one arrow. This is arrow diagram. So I am just having only one arrow for each and every uh, first, uh, each and every element from my first set. So this is function. Different terminologies related to this function is first in your Cartesian product or in your function whatever set you are having on the first place that is called as a domain the set which is present on the second hand side or we can say on the second place that is called as a codomain that is second set for example here for one I am having arrow which is going towards x so one arrow x now in that one is having output as x and x is having some input as one so this is termed as x is my image of 1 and 1 is my pre per image of x. So these are all kind of your terminologies you are having in function. Let's take another example. Now in this example set A is having 4 elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B is having 3 elements x, y, z. And for this entry, for one entry, I am having two values. Okay. So means what is the definition that you should have exactly one time appearance of your element from the first set. But as this is appeared twice, this can be read as 1 comma x and 1 comma y. So this is appeared twice. So this will not be a function. Again, the another definition like this definition can be divided into two parts. Every element. Now here, this element is not having any image means that is not giving some output so that's why this whole diagram will not be a function another examples let's take different terminologies in the function here i am performing cartesian product on the same set first set is having element 1 2 3 4 second set is having element 1 2 3 4 now here my element uh, 1 and 2 are having only one outputs and that is also 3 3 and 4 are having each are having only one one output and that is also one so this first part or first set is always your domain so domain will be 1 2 3 4 your codomain is always your second set codomain for this diagram will be 1 2 3 4 okay 
and the next thing that is called as a range so range is all the entries which are having some incoming arrows so they are called as your range so only if the two items are getting some in incoming arrows one and three so that is my range for example here for uh, this diagram my domain will be the first set that will be abc codomain will be second set that will be xyz and range will be x and y z will not be range because no arrow is going and visiting to z z is not receiving any incoming arrow so range will be only x and y the next term that is how you will vertically check whether your function is whether your that diagram is function or not in that case what you have to do you just have to take a vertical line you have to keep that vertical line on your diagram and just check that for each and every x coordinate on that line you should have only one y value or again we can say that vertically your line should touch only one point on your graph at the same time it should not touch two or more points so this is about the vertical line test so for the first function as it is not having a uh, different y values for x coordinate that is function in the same way second diagram is also function third diagram is not a function because here for x coordinate i am having for this coordinate i am having multiple y values and that is also i am not getting key whether exactly what is the exact the value of that so i am having multiple values of y so that is not a function some of the other examples related to your function now in this diagram for each and every element you are having some images or we can say the arrow is going from that element each and every element that is also exactly one time so this is a function now for this now the same element is repeated more than once means for each element for the same element you are having more than one images so this is not a function this diagram is failing in the vertical line test it is touching two points more than one points when i place vertical line on a particular point on my uh, graph so this is failing the vertical line test so this is not a function again in this fourth example for value of minus 2 i am having two two images i should have only one image i should have only one arrow so for this reason this is not a function another reason is that for this entry i am not having any image but when your function you when you have your function you for each and every element from the first set you you should have only one image so that's why this is not a function let's take different types of your function so why we do checking of first set your first set is always checked ki ki uh, whether that is your function or not like for each and every element you are having only one arrow so then that will be a function and second set is always checked or we can say always used to find the type of function so depending on what are the types of entry you are having on the second set how many incoming edges they are receiving so we say what is that particular type of your function the basic type is injective function now in injective function let me describe this by arrow diagram and i will uh, explain this in terms of arrows so on the second set part if each and every entry they are having at uh, they are having at most one incoming arrow means we can say that each and every entry on the second set side that is either receiving zero incoming edges or only one incoming edges so then that will be called as a one to one function next type is on to function now in this function what you have each entry on the second set side is receiving at least one incoming edge the meaning of that is the each entry on your second set is receiving one or more incoming edges here one or zero in surjective one or more incoming edges 
then that will be called as a surjective function or onto function next type is bijective function now bijective function is both one to one and onto the definition of one to one is you should have either one incoming arrow or zero incoming arrow and the definition of onto is you should have one or more so combinedly we can say that okay after combining all of this we, we will get uh, the uh, value that for each and every entry on your second set you are just having only one incoming arrow or only one incoming uh, only one uh, incoming input is there so then that diagram will be bijective function the next type is this is about ki how many incoming edges you are receiving how many uh, input you should have you must have now if i tell ki how many elements should not how that incoming arrows in that way i will further categorize my function into into category the example of into function now the into function is the function where at least one element you should have that is having no incoming arrow then that will be called as your into function at least one element should be there that is not having any incoming arrow in your uh, your second set uh, position or uh, second right hand side of your arrow diagram so then that will be into the difference between this one to one and into is that here it is telling me only one element which is not having incoming arrow okay but it is not telling ki what about the others so other uh, element can have one value can have more than one incoming arrow and so on so that's why your into and injective function is much much different in their sense like here limitation is only to have no value incoming arrow or only one incoming arrow here limitation is that one element should be there which is not receiving any incoming arrow but there is no limitation on other entries they can have one arrow two arrow more arrow as per their convenience the next type of function is one to one and into i mean one to one you are having only ki each and every element from the second set they should have only one incoming arrow or zero incoming arrow and the definition of into is that at least one element should be there ki which is not receiving any incoming age so this is the definition for one to one and into now if we are saying ki on the second set side we are having some elements which are receiving more than one incoming edges so again we categorize that type of function as many to one now in many to one at least one element on the second hand place is such that we should have only one element on your second set ki that is receiving more than one incoming arrows so then that will be called as a many to one means many incoming arrows are coming from your first set and which is meeting to your one element present in the second set many to one and that is into many one into now here one element should be there which is receiving more than one incoming arrows and one element should be there which is having only we can say ki which is having no incoming arrows so then that will be called as a many to one and into many to one and on to now each and every element on your second set are having some incoming edges and from that also one element should be there ki which is receiving more than one incoming arrows now the next type is identity the identity function is a function where your uh, same element is mapping to the same element then that will be called as a identity function for example i am having always i am having the, this kind of pairs or we can say one is mapping to one itself two is mapping to two itself the same element is mapping to the same element from both the set then that will be called as your identity function and the last type of function is inverse or invertible function your function is uh, your function can be inversed or we can get the inverse of your function only if that is bijective and uh, this is the definition of bijective each element from your second set is having only one incoming edges and that 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 is called as a bijective function
Why this is the definition for inverse? Let's see by example. Here we are having some of the examples which will tell you ki what is this definition of inverse function. Why we always check ki your function should be a bijective function. For example, if I'm talking about this first uh, example, now here this element is receiving more than one incoming arrows. So if I will just try to flip this diagram, this will come here and this will be my first set. Then that diagram will be this and uh, this will be my f inverse but this diagram this should be your function but this is not satisfying your property of function each and every element from the first set position should have only one outgoing arrow so as this is having two outgoing arrow so this will not be inverse of my function inverse diagram of this will never be function again for this it is satisfying the property it is a bijective function for this into function example of into function if i will try to flip this diagram i will get the inverse of this diagram will be this diagram but this diagram is not function because these two element are not having any arrow or we can say any output so that's why this is not a function so these are some of the examples that's why we always say ki your function should be one to one on two means if your function is bijective function then you can get the inverse of that function the another thing is that composition of function composition of function is one function is substitute substituted into another function then that will be called as a composition of function if i am having two function i will try to merge this function and i will try to reproduce the new function if i am having diagrams two diagrams so i will always check the common portion i want to find the fog f composition okay fog is composition of f and g so in that case this will be kept at the left hand side and this will be kept at the right hand side of your diagram now from this portion what you will do from the first set you will check what is the second set and from the second set you will check what is the first set and you will try to merge this if they are mergeable or if they are both the having same values then you will get the composition of that function and which is the resulting diagram so this is the result of that diagram if instead of having any diagram if you are having any questions or equations in that case you just try to substitute the values of each and every function to get the final value for example my f of n is n square g of n function is having value n plus 1 h of 1 n function is n minus 1 i have to find h o f o g means composition of h with f and that with g so this can be termed as wherever you are having o you just have to replace that with a uh, bracket so this will be my h in bracket fog the remaining term will be kept as it is now again this is having o we will enlarge this we will uh, this will become f h of f of g now this g is a kind of function so that will be written as g of n and g of n is n plus 1 okay so this value is kept in this diagram and further if you'll try to just uh, this uh, try to find ki what is the value of f of n so f of n is n square instead of n if i will try to put n plus 1 here so what i will get that will be n plus 1 whole square so this is my result in the same way we are calculating and we will get the final values and that then that will be called as a composition of your given function if you are given with some values so instead of keeping n you have to keep the value as it is and you will get the answer so this is the composition of your different function